Hi, I'm Benedetta and this is my sister Valeria. We're from Local Aromas in Italy. Today you are going to learn all about Italy's most famous dessert. Andiamo a mangiare? Let's go eat. lancerei sul classico. Io prendo il tiramisù ai frutti di bosco. With wild berries. No, I want classic. I'm, I'm, I need coffee. Tiramisù also they, it's, it can also be seasonal. It can also be seasonal. I am having the classic one with coffee because I need coffee. And you know what? Tiramisù is one of the five most famous words worldwide. I want to look into that. I'm yeah. sure the other ones are pizza, pasta. I we'll have to see what the other mm. two are if tiramisù is one of them. Let's have it outside, yeah? Yeah, so, we can okay. have it outside. Lo portiamo, lo portiamo via. Grazie. Ok. Buona grazie. Grazie mille. Ci vediamo alla prossima. Ciao, ciao, grazie. Ciao. 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 Finally. Tiramisu. So tiramisu actually has a meaning. It means lift me up or cheer me up because it's a wonderful, rich dessert. And um, let me yours a second. I'll show you because this is the classic version. The classic version is with, made with lady fingers dipped in coffee and then this wonderful rich cream of eggs, mascarpone and sugar and that's exactly. it. Exactly. And it's decorated on top with cocoa powder. This dessert was created by a very smart woman who owned a brothel. So, tiramisu, lift me up energy wise in many other ways. <laughs> it is actually, I mean Italy doesn't have, as we always say, there's not one food that identifies Italy but worldwide this is probably the only dessert that you will find all throughout yeah, Italy. From north to south, yeah. in every restaurant, in just tiramisu su shops, and, uh, and that's it. Should we eat it? Yeah, but you have to tell them how to eat it. She's a pastry chef. The reason there is a layer is not because that you eat each layer at the time. You are supposed to eat, when you have a dessert that you eat with a spoon, you eat all of it. Because that's the whole idea, is to eat the entire layers all together. How is that one? Mm. Good. Unique. Yeah. It is really unique. I mean, it's, it's really worth every single calorie that you're eating. <laughs> <laughs> right? In summer, there is this one version that has um, a limoncello inside. Instead of having coffee, it has limoncello or, or also with grappa. I mean, you can go, you yeah. can go wild because it's just white canvas. But this is the original one. This is the original, and then yeah, every 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 pastry chef has his own version. But you That's can definitely, good. yeah, it is very good. Definitely, you find it all throughout Italy. È buono tu però, eh? Non me l'aspettavo questa bagna di. È fresco. It's good, yeah, it's fresh. Buonissimo. Mm. Mm. Okay. Let's swap again. <laughs> well, you nearly finished it all. <laughs> Let's swap again. Regardless the tiramisu flavor you're going to have, just remember there is one way to eat it. You don't eat it layer by layer. You get the spoon and you dig it all the way in because you're supposed to eat all the layers together. That's the point. However, remember that there's not just one type of tiramisu because you have the classic tiramisu with it, which is with dark chocolate and coffee, but then you can have it with, with strawberries, you can have it with peaches, you can have it with limoncello or with sweet wine with little crumbs of amaretto on top and... Or you come to Italy and you have them all. Mm -hmm.